questions and comments. The Honourable Member for Ottawa West Nepean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, Canadians were rightly horrified by the situation of the Yazidis. And I think all Canadians can be very proud of what Canada has done to give safe haven to so many Yazidi women and girls. And not just safe haven, but the work that the, uh, my honourable colleague, the Parliamentary Secretary, has spoken about in family reunification and resettlement, the fact that we have restored health care for refugees and provided the services that they need. But I noted that the, my honourable colleague also mentioned a program to settle women and girls from other conflict areas. We know that there are many parts of the world where we have women and girls who are in terrible situations, and I was wondering if my honourable colleague could elaborate on that particular program. Thank you. Honourable Parliament Secretary to the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship. Uh, thank you to my colleague uh, from the Ottawa area, who is certainly a leading voice in this parliament when it comes uh, to human rights matters domestically and internationally. I know she uh, is actively engaged in conversations uh, about how Canada can provide um, opportunities for safety and security from those fleeing war, uh, persecution and all kinds of other horrors. Um, our effort to resettle an additional 1,000 vulnerable women and girls came through a commitment made in Budget 2018, which is in line with the work that Canada is leading on globally to help develop a compact for safe, orderly and regular migration and a compact on refugees. Um, we uh, ensured that language and an understanding was uh, inserted into those compacts so that we could build capacity around the world to better understand the situations facing vulnerable women and girls, many of whom are uh, fleeing gang violence and gender-based violence in all areas of the world. We know there are situations in Latin America as well as in uh, the Middle East and, and other uh, regions like the Rohingya refugee situation. Um, we, we are going to do our best to ensure that we can provide safe refuge to the most vulnerable and we know we have a particular responsibility when it comes to help uh, helping ourselves and the world better understand the particular vulnerabilities and challenges faced by women and girls in refugee situations and we will do our part as the global leader in resettlement to make sure that women and girls who find themselves in horrific situations are able to come and build for themselves a life in Canada. Questions and comments? Can say come on to. 